What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and this is the color changing iPhone. Okay, so if you follow the channel at all, you should know that I'm a big fan of slick wraps. I've reviewed many of their skins, primarily for my phone and laptop. I'll put a card in the corner of a playlist of all those reviews if you're interested. So I recently put on the Midnight Warrior skin, which I absolutely love. But when slick wraps introduced their new color shift wrap, a skin they claim changed color based on certain lighting conditions, I had to check it out. Okay, so this looks really cool on their website and it's a super interesting concept, but I wasn't confident that the two-tone quote unquote color shift would be noticeable. And at the end of the day, it would just look kind of boring, especially when you compare it with the past skins that I've had on my phone. But lo and behold, Slick Wraps was cool enough to send one out, and I thought I'd put a quick review together to see whether or not the color shift wrap sucks. Here's what it looks like right out of the box. So the one I have here is the blue to green color shift wrap for my iPhone 7 Plus. Out of the package, I have to say it does look nice. It's interesting because it has this sheen to it that makes it almost come off glossy, but it definitely has a matte finish, which is good because I rely on skins to add some texture and grip to my phone. It comes with the back skin as well as skins for the front of the phone, but I never put them on because A, I have a tempered glass screen protector, and B, I just prefer having a cleaner look with nothing on the front of my phone. But if you do want that complete look, you'll have access to both and you don't have to pay extra for it. Now my immediate interpretation of the skin's color out of the package was, yo, it's green. Now given I do have two very large and very bright lamps lighting the studio, but it definitely came off more green than blue. The good thing is, is that the green is very nice. It's not loud or oversaturated. And after moving it around in the lighting, you do start to see a slight transition from green to blue. It is subtle. And though my camera might not be able to capture it perfectly, there is definitely a little bit of color shifting going on based on how the light hits the skin. I was intrigued enough to put the skin on my phone. I thought maybe the color shift will be more noticeable then. So I got everything ready to apply the wrap. I had to start by removing the Black Panther skin that I had on, which was kind of sad because I really like this one. Did y'all catch the new trailer for the movie? It looks so sick. I'll leave it in the description down below in case you missed it. Anyways, I took the skin off and before I move on to the installation, just want to show you guys what my phone looks like with it off. One of the main reason I love skins is that it protects my phone from nicks and scratches without adding any bulk to the device. And you could see, I've had this phone for a while now and no scratches on it whatsoever. Now I say this in all my slick wrap reviews, I am not an expert at installing these things, and I highly recommend using slick wraps installation videos if you're looking for installation help. I'll also leave a link to that in the description down below. That being said, I am getting better at installing these. You want to start by lining up the skin with the speaker holes and the lightning port cutouts at the bottom of the phone, and then proceed to line up the cutout for the flash and the camera. The wrap is pretty forgiving, so if it's not perfectly lined up, just firmly pull back on the wrap and try again. Once you have that part done, start pressing down on the skin to the back of the phone and smooth strokes to avoid bubbles. Now once you have the back pressed down, you can move on to the sides. Take out your hair dryer and put down some heat on the side flaps before you apply them to your device. I can't stress this enough guys, heat is very important for proper installation so don't even attempt to install this without a heat gun or hair dryer. Once you've applied some heat, apply the skin to the phone by rolling it on a soft surface like this mouse pad I'm using here. Roll it firmly against the surface and it should be pretty easy getting a perfect application so long as you've heated the sides long enough. Repeat the process for the rest of the side and you'll be left with just the corners. Now the corners are the hardest part to install. Heat up the flaps just like you did the sides and slowly apply the corners to align with the other areas of the skin that you've already pressed on. Best advice here is to take your time and again, if it's not perfectly lined up, pull it back and start over. You can do it multiple times until you get it right. Once you have all the corners on, use the hair dryer to apply heat around the camera hump, the sides and the corners again and press out any bubbles or loose areas for a snug fit. After I did all that, this is what it looked like. Okay, my first impression was that of pleasant surprise. It looks really clean, and out of all the skins I've put on, this is one of the grippiest, which is really nice. It has a metallic look to it, but because of the matte finish, you won't have to worry about smudging or fingerprints. I'm really digging the color on the wrap. Again, it does primarily come off green on camera due to the harsh light in the shot, but if you move the phone in certain angles, it definitely does look blue. It's even more noticeable when you're moving around with the device placed on a table or something. You'll notice the phone, based on where you are in relation to it, 
it can look quite different in terms of color. Now you're gonna wanna manage expectations as the shift is subtle. It's not like a complete night and day difference, but it is really cool. The best thing to compare it to is a car that has one of those chameleon paint jobs. I was worried that the skin was gonna look cheap, but it totally doesn't. The texture of the wrap makes it look like your phone was professionally spray painted, and I could tell already, it's gonna get a lot of attention. Now if you're interested in getting yourself the color shift wrap or any other skin at Slick Wraps, use the code JSL at checkout and you'll get $5 off your order. On top of any other sales, Slick Wraps always has going on, which is pretty dope because most of the skins they have aren't that expensive. That's about it for this short review. Leave me a thumbs up if you guys liked it. It really helps me out. Love to get your thoughts on the color shift wrap. Do you guys think this looks good? Can you see the color shift? Or do you guys think this wrap sucks? Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and to turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all my weekly reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.